Some commonly used inhaled anesthetics are potent greenhouse gases, and the anesthesiologist's choice of gas can significantly change the environmental impact of a case. So let's say sevoflurane and desflurane. Clinically, they're relatively interchangeable. But from the environmental perspective, they have really divergent effects. One study estimated using sevoflurane for one hour is like driving a car for four miles. However, using desflurane for one hour is like driving almost 200 miles. Desflurane, however, isn't the only inhaled anesthetic that is also a potent greenhouse gas. The biggest culprit from an ozone depletion point of view is nitrous oxide. Its atmospheric lifetime is over a century. But what I think is also interesting, if you have central stores of nitrous, a lot of the nitrous oxide that's getting into the atmosphere is coming from leaks. 